your sign of Aries. This is Kim here to do your reading for the weekly. Uh, this is going to be for April 5th through the 11th, Monday through Saturday. So let's start. We're going to start with um, a card that's it's called this your soul card and it does not come with a guidebook just a picture and the goal is that you will find something in these pictures that um, remind you of what the message really intuitively means exactly for you so messages can be far and few in between right they can relate to a lot of people and um, I will give my two cents but remember it is an intuitive card for you especially like specifically for you for this week coming up all right give me a soul card please for Aries Oh, all right. All right, I haven't seen all of these yet, so I definitely haven't seen this one. Okay, so you see what in it, what what does it speak to you? I'm seeing, um, <laughs> I'm seeing like a separate person at the third eye location. Very mental energy, but it looks like whatever accomplishments are being found or made here in that third eye are being radiated out like you're spreading light or good vibrations around you we do have a little bit of you know the mix of colors here tells me that there there is some junk that's in the mind maybe causing some worry anxiety but all in all for the most part you're radiating a really nice energy so I like that. I like that. Strange, strange. I love these cards. They're so odd. <laughs> they are so odd. So let's do some archetype card energy and get a couple of these for our dear Aries. And Aries, if you would like a private reading, I do those for donation. Look in the description box below on how to get that. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all the support. Appreciate it, Aries. Two energies, please, for Aries. Oh, there we go. We got three. Spirits wanting to give three, so we'll take three. We have the animal. Yeah, this that's odd. That looks a lot. That looks very similar, doesn't it? Maybe you're in the middle of that energy. Hmm. Shiva talks a lot about the venom, like being turned into the nectar. Then we have the lover's card. The lover, kind, compassionate love. Could be about a partnership, maybe a Gemini. This looks like this too. And then the animal is about your signs and synchronicities, seeing them, having things line up because you're in alignment with like your soul, your soul purpose, your higher soul, your higher self, whatever you want to call it. The venom is self-awareness, almost like self-actualization coming at you from a place of dark, despair, bad times, times that had a lot of suffering. And out of that suffering, though, that we call the venom in life, it was transmuted into the nectar and self-awareness. That's what comes from the venom. So, signs going through something pretty tough. Maybe about a partnership. Now, it is general, so you might be looking for a partnership for work, too. So, don't discount that. This is the Zen Tarot, and we're just jumping right in. Going to do past, present, future um, with the energies. For April 5th through 11th, Spirit, see if you can give us messages for the Most High. Sign of Aries. For the week. All right, for Aries, past energies, please.
Oops. <laughs> what am I doing? All right. All right. So look, if, if this is about romance, I have a little bit of a different interpretation on things. So I'm seeing if it's about romance that this Knight of Wand energy is about, one, the intensity and passion that's brought with it. Two, the fact that this person might have been in and out of your life too. This, in a general sense, can mean travel or it can mean something coming in for you like an offer coming in quickly. Just think of all the possibilities with that this offer can bring to you. I think that's what the Two of Wands is asking you to do. We may have some distance between two people or we might have a new job prospect too. Or this really might be just reminding you that whatever you need to manifest, make sure you keep your awareness in the present so that's all what you're thinking about. That's what your main focus is. All right, so I feel like there in the past was this release of um, maybe just not wanting to, not wanting to compete, not wanting to compete with something or standing up for maybe the wrong things or things that didn't serve you well. And this is either competing out of a power hungry, um, like not a really good reason to compete or compare oneself. Five of one energy, very fiery energy, Aries, but this is like staying out of something. So, so this has yourself seeing many possibilities, a very passionate offer, but this five of ones in reverse energy has you not either not competing at all and not standing up for something that you really want or, or competing for the wrong reasons, trying to acquire something um, for the wrong reasons too. I, I don't know. I'm, I know nothing's really wrong or right but something in the past just didn't it, it didn't uh, pan out because something someone was dropped out of like dropped out of the race like, like that's the feeling i get is like somebody just decided not to compete all right what is the present tense oh goodness okay it went in my basket. Present tense. <sighs> Goodness. Okay. Wow, this person or situation might mean a lot to you. It's like if this issue or this person or yourself were taken out of all of existence, then all of existence would be missing a part of itself. Wouldn't be whole. Wouldn't be complete. Seven of Cups in reverse. New vision as the major arcana card and letting go. Okay, so letting go, I think that this has to do with letting go one of the exact way something's going to happen for you. Letting go of the expectations, letting go of of either living or thinking a certain way, like a different mindset. There's extra dimensions being added to whatever it is that this thing is talking about, this partnership, signs and synchronicities, maybe that you're lining up. This is really having your mind set on something, and it's a clear mind with the Seven of Cups in reverse. This doesn't have to be physically leaving as it's Eight of Cups deals with emotions. Emotionally letting something go. Okay, what is the future uh, energy? Ooh, all right. Future energy. All right, well, trust this offer. Trust this offer. This offer that comes in in the future will be one based 
sorry about that traffic. It will be based in love, out of love. Even if it's a job offer, this is something that you need to trust. If you're asking about a person, this is a person that you can trust. Could be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. This could be an, a fire sign. Ace of Cups, asking you to trust and go with the flow. This is a brand new beginning, no matter what situation, even if it's breathing new life into something old. This is about going with the flow, flowing like water easily around your obstacles and new beginnings. Moment to moment, that's what I was talking about. The number two again, this is about concentrating on the or keeping our focus in the now, uh, because we're we want to keep our awareness uh, all to this area. It doesn't mean you can't plan for the future, but keep your awareness in the now moment. Live moment to moment. You won't get as stressed out that way. Also, this can be indicating fluctuating wealth or times. A rebirth from a very dark place rebirth of something from a very dark place with this it looks like this venom card to me too and then we have the page of cups page of cups in reverse let me get a card to clarify that let me get a tarot card to clarify that because there's a few ways i can read that and just want to see if I'm right. Okay, so clarifying this um, page of cups in the reverse. Working on something, either this is you work, like work, work, or divinely your happiness, your joy, being guided by your um, spirit team. The Empress is on this page of cups in reverse. So maybe this has to do with children. The Empress. Might be like a mother figure or it might be why something didn't work out in the past, like coming up to the, after this rebirth, looking back and saying something didn't happen because of this. Seeing um, the understanding of life like in reverse, that's how we have to look at it. The Queen of Pentacles, that might be where this, um, the issue in the past came from. The matriarch figure, which these two are very similar, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. And I have letting go or either leaving a situation or emotionally leaving it, letting a situation go. The Queen of Cups, finding somebody to listen to you. The Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and then the Judgment card, Scorp uh, sorry, Sagittarius. This card can be about second chances as it's about forgiveness. It's also to me about that first aid assist coming in from the spirit realm. I love it. It can be about an announcement too. Maybe the announcement is what's causing this wanting to walk away from a situation. So this can be getting or seeking out like holistic uh, medicine, like people that do Reiki, stuff like that. That can be about what that card is about. And forgiveness here. Creation. Let me get some more on the Empress. Okay, so <laughs> that's funny because it was in reverse and then it flipped around. And I get the same theme here. So nine of wands. This is about, uh, instead of expecting your outcome like right away, it's about having to really have perseverance, courage to get you through a situation to, to work on this, whatever this is. It's just going to take courage and persistence. 